What we have here is the Olympus OM-D EM5. It's the latest micro four thirds camera from Olympus and it features a 16 megapixel uh, sensor. What's nice about this is the retro styling. Uh, it grabs you up front because it harks back to the days of the OM series film cameras from Olympus back in the 70s. So it basically features a lot of cool stuff that you'd normally find in higher-end cameras. And it's in a small package, so that's why it's really nice because it's very handy, very light. And I think it also refers back to the OM series back, back in the day when those cameras were actually small as well. It's a micro four-thirds format. You have a electronic viewfinder here that actually sees through the sensor. So it's like a small TV screen right here. But of course you have an LCD screen at the back as well. You have all of those benefits in such a small package and it really makes it really great. So basically what we did is we took this uh, cover shoot. Uh, I also work for a magazine and we did a cover shoot in Subic. We wanted to test out the capabilities of the camera and what we found out was really exciting. It was really a great performer, that's the bottom line, because it features all the, the things that you need from a DSLR, customizing everything to your touch, to your feel, and it basically has the picture quality that goes with it. The OMV, with its lens, uh, offers a weather seeding package, so during that shoot, it really rained hard, so we had no choice but to continue shooting and fortunately I had the OMD with me so it allowed me to continue shooting throughout the day. And I had to make use also of the continuous burst uh, available with the OMD. It up, goes up to 9 frames per second and with the 4.5 frames actually with focusing. So focus tracking was really good and effective for me as well as the IISO performance that the OMD provided. The real clincher here actually is the five-way internal body image stabilization feature. That allowed me to actually lower the shutter speed create moving and blurring shots in the background while still maintaining sharpness with the subject. All these features come up together and create a package that's actually nice to operate and hold once you get used to the customizing and all the settings that, that are available in the camera's back you'll really find it seamless to shoot with. More so, you can use legacy lenses or old lenses from your dad's collection and even your DSLRs. Just with the right adapter, you can use other brands' lenses on the OMD. And that's what's good about the Micro Four Thirds format. So what you can do here is with an adapter and a lens, in this case a Nikon lens, you can use this adapter, slot it in and align the red dots in the camera, twist, and it's locked. So now you can use this 50mm 1.4 AFD lens from Nikon and achieve that blurred effect that you really wanted from a DSLR without the DSLR weight and penalty. So that's what I enjoy about the OMD. The way I do work is I stick the camera close to the subject. That's the way I want it. The way the subject is close to the camera brings you closer to that subject. So what the OMD does is it allows you to come in close, especially with the macro function. Just push this button here, using the kit lens, slide this forward, and then you're using macro. So this one allows you to really go in close, and it basically separates the whole background uh, from the rest of it. So you can actually take photos of emblems, and in my case, I'm using a car right now. I've seen some people take photos of insects. So it really makes and expands the usability of the OMD this way.
The Olympus OMD EM5 is not really a camera for everyone, especially if you're geared up for basically a point and shoot experience. What you have here is a small DSLR-like camera that offers a lot of functions at the back, a lot of customizable menus that at first will get you confused. It took me about two days to figure out all the functions of the buttons and all the customizing that I can do with all the buttons here at the back and the top. So it's basically one of those cameras that will need time for you to actually get the rhythm of. And it's for those who don't want to carry the big weight of a DSLR but still have a semblance of DSLR image quality. That's the nice thing about the OMD. With all its features and all the benefits that you, you have getting a small camera like this working for you, I believe that the OMD, in my case, the one when I used it, the OMD is an exhilarating experience. It offers that lightness that you really wanted from a camera, but without sacrificing the image quality, and that's the important thing about it. It's got blazing fast autofocus, it's got weather sealing, it's got touchscreen at the back, customizable buttons, basically everything you'd really want from a camera. Interchangeable lens, of course, so you have a host of micro four-thirds lenses available in the market today, both from Olympus and Panasonic. So those cameras and those lenses, when combined together, offer you a quite unique experience with the OMD. And that's the nice thing I really like about this because it allows me to move about and to be not hampered by my equipment. It allows me to be creative and it allows me to live and enjoy shooting once again.